Here's a IC valve for this 2001 Honda Accord. And I've already cleaned this one out. And it's free. Let me see if I can do it on video. The, uh, so if you stick a screwdriver in here, there's a little flap in there you can move. And all it is is a rotor that spins, but you can't spin it because there's no room to spin it. And inside here, it stops it only. I'll show you. I gotta take it apart. So to get it apart, you're supposed to have a special tool, but I cut um, flats into it to make it a flathead with a Dremel, but you can take a hacksaw and try to do the same same deal okay so once you got those screws out it's gonna be magnetized together so uh, it's kind of hard to pull it off but inside there uh, it's kind of hard to see but basically it's got like a little stopper on it so it only goes um, that much it goes like like that in inside you can kind of see that flat move as I do it but this one was uh it was stuck it was all gunked up and it had stuck I'd already cleaned it out and put it back in the car and um was still having the same symptoms and I didn't really know about uh the piece in there that moves I had to do some research so um, I took it apart again and then took the black piece off and found out it was stuck and put some acetone in there and spun it around with a drill I hooked up a drill to this and then uh, got it to spin around a bunch of times until it cleaned out and after that it was still a little uh, bindy I'd say a little rough, just a little bit, like it spin, but then I feel like it may be catch. So um, I put a little bit of clipper oil for like some hair clippers in there on the bearing, on this bearing and put a little bit in there. And then I cleaned out as much as I could with some Q-tips and um, hoping it's not gonna affect anything, but this car has been sitting for like three years, so it's, it's not gonna be that big of a risk. And uh, basically, once you put it back together, you just gotta make sure that uh, you look inside this hole so that way you don't, it, all, it only goes in one way. So that way you don't accidentally in this tab and then it's going to be stuck again and you're going to be wondering why you have the same symptoms so hope this helps